In this video, I'll show you or I'll try to show you how to do corn roll step by step. Before we start with her edges, we're gonna start in the back first. Okay, Miss Alma. Okay, let's start in the back. I'm gonna show you step by step how you can do it. I'm gonna use a big piece just to make it simple for you. Mom elastic lamp back. Okay. Now let me show you how to start the cone roll. If you're very new at it, I would advise you to get a comb so you can part the first braid. And first of all, in order for you to do a good cone roll, you have to know how to do a box braid or a regular plait. So I'm going to show you that here. You'll need three pieces, one to the left, one in the middle, and one to the right. This is how you do a regular box braid. You need three pieces with her, well, her own hair with no weave. This is the right um, strand, and that's the left one, and that's the one in the middle, obviously. And you go that way to do a regular box braid. We're gonna do almost the same thing when we are doing the con roll. The only difference is uh, any strand we have, you're gonna have to attach it to what we have at the bottom and we'll keep doing it until there is no hair. This is how you would do a regular box braid with our own natural hair. I'll show you again how to do the regular box braid closer to her scalp. This is important. One strand to the left, one strand to the right, now closer to her scalp. You go this way, and you do this. We're doing it closer to her scalp. Okay. That's still a regular box braid. The cone roll, the only difference is we're gonna have it keep going down till we reach the bottom. So let's start the cone roll. Now that we have the box braid part out of the way, I'll show you why it is important to know how to do a regular uh, box braid before you know how to do cone roll. Okay. We're still gonna use the same, the same um, box braid we had at the beginning, but this time we're gonna make sure that her fingers stay close to her scalp. Now let's go. One, two. We're doing the regular box braid so far. One and two. Now to do the cone roll, we're gonna start adding hair here you add hair and you keep cornering and you add hair on this side as you go down you add hair here again and you go down don't forget to add a little bit of pressure you add hair here again then you go down let me try to get the camera closer Okay, you go here and you add a hair. You let those two fingers open so you can add a hair. And you make sure you detangle her hair. And you add a hair here again. You add a hair as you, go, as you keep going down. This is how you do a, a regular con roll. Add hair here. And you add hair there. As you keep doing con roll, it'll get neater and neater. Since I'm showing how to do it here, it's not that neat. 
and once you get used to it you won't be adding hair like that you automatically gonna add hair when you do it add hair and add more hair here add more hair there and you keep going down till you are done if you're a beginner and your corner looks like that you did a great job as you keep doing it you'll get better at it and this is what you have I'm gonna start over okay I promise you if you keep practicing that way sooner or later your corner will end up looking that way I'm doing it step by step, that's why I make sure I show you how it looks like here. But I'm gonna start over and see if another technique would help. It's gonna be almost the same technique, but we'll try again and see if you'll get it. And I'll just change the camera angle to see if we can get a better angle. Okay, I combed out her hair off camera and I changed the angle. See. If, it, if you can see it better, I'm gonna start over. We're gonna start uh, looking for the, the first three legs. What I'll do next is add another row so you can see where I add the hair and add another row and add another row. You won't need to do none of that once you get a hold of how to do the cornrows but I'm showing that to you now okay like I said already you have to know how to do a regular uh, braid with no weave one leg to the left one to the right and one in the middle and you go that way to do the regular uh, uh, plait you do this this is how a regular plaid will look. You should be able to do this before you even think about doing a con roll. Once we get a hold of that, now we're gonna start doing the con roll. Yep. And remember, we have those roll here. I'll try my best to show you when I grip the hair. And once again, um, you have to keep practicing to make it that perfect. Let's do the first, uh, the first uh, uh, braid. You go this way. Don't touch the hair at the bottom yet. And you go that way and make sure your hand is in that direction, this direction, because you're going down anyway. You do the other one. Once you see that braid form, that's when you start adding hair, you see? The first row I have here, you take a few amount of hair in there. Take a few here, and you go that way. And you go to the right side, take a few hair to here too. You only have hair left in the middle now. And you go this way. What you have left is hair in the middle. You just take it and put it right here now you do the braid two and three we're gonna start over again the third row we had you take hair here from the third row take hair here and you braid again take hair from the right side Take hair from the right side and add it here. You braid again. Take what's left in the middle. Where is it? Well, I took too much from the right side. I'll just show it on the other one. And you keep braiding. Okay, let's go again. That's the fourth strand. You take some hair here. You braid. Take some more hair to the right. We have some left in the middle. You braid. 
take what's left in the middle right here and you keep braiding okay as you can see that's how the cornrow come out again in order for you to do this you have to keep practicing and you'll naturally pick the hair proportional to all of those uh, all of the rows the hair you'll pick right here will be the same amount here till you reach at the bottom and you see how proportional this one is we'll add hair again and you braid add hair to the right and you braid take some in the middle and you braid again take some in the right you braid take a few to the left braid that's how you do a comb roll and that's how you naturally do it once you get a hold of it see I'm not I'm automatically taking hair without even paying attention to that and that's exactly when you come out neat as you keep practicing that's how it's gonna come out neat but so far if you know nothing about cornrow I would suggest you to practice that way and if you're doing crochet with any pre-twist hair as long as your cornrows are not too too loose you can crochet hair over this and nobody will know how messy your cornrows actually look okay we're gonna try for the third time and see how it goes remember i told you don't worry about that part keep practicing that way that's how you get a hold on how to add hair and when to add hair once you get a hold of it you'll know how how much hair to add okay we are practicing one last time but these will come out perfect well at least they're gonna come out like this one and what you do is you won't need the comb that means you'll get a hold of how to do it just like i showed you like basic way with the comb we're gonna use smaller pieces you go this way smaller pieces and you go that way As you keep practicing, you'll notice when to use a bigger uh, amount of hair and when to use less. Here I'm using a tiny bit of hair just to make it as neat as possible. And I'm doing the same thing that I showed you previously. I just keep adding hair. But I'm adding a little bit of it instead. And remember to detangle the person's hair as you keep doing the con roll There we have it.
Like I told you already, you need to practice. Practice, practice, and practice. As you keep doing it, your, your hands will feel like how much hair to add as you keep going down. Remember, if you're new to doing cornrows, use the comb like I told you. And practice. Then you'll get it.